please use star code Aquila when buying Robux or Premium. These are all of my social media accounts. Enjoy the video! Hi everyone, it's Akila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'll be giving you the full tour of the Collins family's brand new Bloxburg roleplay house. We had our previous house for a year. And as much as I love that one, I love this one a lot more. It feels like a mix of all of the houses that we've lived in. It's perfect. And if you missed the empty house tour, that video will be linked in the eye in the corner. And with that being said, let's get started. This plot is landscaped beautifully with two spiral trees right in front of the porch and fruit trees are scattered all around. I think that this house is gorgeous and the lighting really complements the colors. I mentioned this in my previous video, but we don't have a backyard just because we never really used the backyards in the series. They were kind of just there. But in the future, if I do want to extend our plot and add a backyard, I definitely can. But as for now, I think the front yard is enough for us. So the kids were obviously begging for a pool. So we got an inflatable above ground pool. There's already two floaties inside and I think this pool really complements the front yard and it's perfect for those hot summer days. On the other side of the front yard, we have this area which is for the kids. So we have an enclosed trampoline as well as a play set with a sandbox underneath. Now we're heading back to the front of the house where we're greeted by a lovely covered porch. I think this area is really cute. So we have a porch swing, which was added in one of the more recent Bloxburg updates. Next to me, you can see that we have some packages. These cardboard boxes are build hacks made by yours truly, and I do have a video showing how to make them, which will also be linked in the eye in the corner. Across from us, we have this wicker patio set with a fire pit, and the fire pit adds such good lighting, and we can just sit over here and relax. This would be really great for those cold summer nights, but we're gonna turn that off for now. Now we can head inside, but I have made quite a few changes since you guys last saw the house. So I hope you're ready. Welcome to the Collins family house. So this is what it looks like when you first walk in and here's the other side. So I did actually make a lot of custom furniture just because I wanted my house to be a bit more original. So here's our entryway. There's a place to come in, sit down, and take off your shoes. And then we have a custom display table with some decorations on top as well as my purse. We also have a coat rack and an umbrella holder. You can also see the carpeted staircase and our dog Charlie's bed. Because yes, Charlie is making a comeback. So a lot of you guys have been asking where Charlie was and it was just hard to keep up with because I mean, we don't have pets in Bloxburg. It was just a build hack. Every time we wanted the dog to move, I had to like go into build mode to actually move it. And it was just a bit of a hassle during role plays. So we kind of just stopped because there was no purpose. But now I think I'll just have Charlie sit either in his bed or just be somewhere around the house and he won't really move around much. But hopefully we can get pets in Bloxburg eventually. Probably not anytime soon, but we can only hope. You'll see Charlie in the next role play. And now we're gonna head over here to my office. So we have the desk in the center of the room and you get great lighting from the two windows. I built my very own coffee mug and again hopefully we can get these in Bloxburg too. This is the printer table and this printer build hack is by Yummy Cookie. You guys know I love my storage bench so I had to incorporate that build hack in this house. But yeah, I love this office way more than the last one. It's just so cozy. The whole house gives off a really boho vibe and I love that. We have some plaques up there from 
the corn maze and the RB battles maze. And then, of course, some trophies at the top. Oh, we also have um this trophy too. And that's pretty much it for my office. So now we can go across the hallway, well, the entryway, to the kids' playroom. You guys have no idea how much I love this playroom. There's a reading nook area where the kids can sit down and relax. And can we talk about how cute these books are? In the center of the room, we have the tiny tots table. There's a toy box to keep the kids' toys all organized. I even even made this custom display storage shelf and on the other side of the room we have chocolate the bunnies bunny hutch and a painting easel for the kids again just so everything stays organized we also have a closet i would have killed to have a playroom like this when i was a kid this bunny hack is by float but i did put my own little spin on it this time and yes i know i've seen the comments Bunny hutches are not good for real life bunnies, but let's keep in mind this is Bloxburg. The fake bunny is gonna be okay. Cause y'all be stressing me out in the comment section. I also didn't add a painting there, whatever. I'll do that eventually. I don't know where all these build hacks came from, but I just felt really inspired by Pinterest. So now we can head to the living room. We have a sectional just because our family is pretty big. So now we have a space for everyone. Of course, we have the TV and fireplace as well as a chair. I did make this custom keyboard just because the pianos take up so much space. And the book on top is supposed to be the sheet music. These tables are scattered around the house just to take up some space. And here's a little study area that everyone can use so they don't all have to be in the office. The sectional was perfect for the living room. And I love the pillows. I just love how you can customize so much of this and make it your own. So that is our living room. And now I don't know which way to take you guys. Maybe I should just take you guys this way so we can be done with this side of the house. So let's go ahead and walk through here. Again, this is the same table that's over here. Things are just recolored, rearranged, but I just like the look of it there instead of just having an empty space, you know what I mean? So this is me and August's restroom. There's not too much going on. It has everything that you need. We have the shower and bath. His and her sinks, which are my favorite. And of course, a toilet. Around the house, you'll also see that I made these custom toilet paper rolls. And you're gonna see them quite often. And if you're wondering what's behind this door, this is our walk-in closet. We both have our luggages just in case we take any trips. There's a hat on the wall and I also have my purses on the shelves and i decided to add those custom boxes just so things weren't so basic we also have a laundry hamper and these are scattered around as well and i got this idea from my friend violet so i can come in here close the curtains get dressed get undressed i can sit here put my shoes on and i love it and it's great because august wears the same thing all the time so all this space is basically just for me this is our brand new bedroom we can go over this pretty quickly so when you first walk in there's a painting and an air conditioner. On this side, I have my makeup and like getting ready station. Then here is our bed. I made a custom bed frame. In front of our bed, there's this table with a few decorations. This is just a little cozy area. You can come here, sit, read, relax. Here is a place where I can do yoga and just catch a break from everybody and again the custom storage bench that haunts me in my sleep so that is our bedroom and i like that it's not overly crowded and there's still space to walk around and not run into anything and this area is so cute these are supposed to be like my makeup palettes and then that's my makeup bag so yeah that is our bedroom kind of boring but it is what it is and now let's head over to this side of the house here is our dining table i love it the kitchen which is it's so good it's so good i spend a lot of time in the kitchen in the series and it's perfect 
love the dining table just because everyone can come here and be together. You can also sit on the bench, of course. I definitely think that's my favorite part of this section. And then we have Charlie's food and water, of course. I did make this, um, like, whiteboard slash corkboard. This is the eraser for the whiteboard. There's some mail that I need to read, probably. And lunch bags for the kids because school is starting sooner than you'd expect. Summer is really flying by. You can see all the new appliances that we went with, and I think they look really good. This part just adds such a nice touch. Instead of having a flat wall, we have the archway with seasonings. And of course, the farmhouse sink. So yeah, if you're wondering what's behind here, this is our pantry. The pantry is pretty self-explanatory, but I think it's nice having all the appliances in here. Well, most of them, because they take up a lot of counter space. So we've seen everything in this area, so let's go over here. This is our mudroom. Guys, I'm so excited to show you the garage, but we have to, we have to go in order. So here is our laundry room. Again, pretty self-explanatory and it looks really similar to our last one. Of course, I had to come through with another build hack, so I made a vacuum cleaner. And I'm so proud of it, I think it looks pretty good. But, oh wait, I forgot to show you guys. So in here, this is some storage. And now let's go over here. This is the second downstairs restroom. Again, there's really not too much going on in this restroom. So you guys get the point. Here is a little storage area. So all the kids have a cubby down below. And this is another one of my purses just hanging up. We go to Leo's soccer camp and... I'm always providing all the snacks and drinks, so the cooler is just here so we can easily carry it to the car, which is in the garage, and guys, I'm so happy with how the garage turned out. I did downsize it, it did have two garage doors, and I utilized the space a lot more because when I had two doors, um, I didn't use all this space and there was a lot of just emptiness and i didn't like that so if we step off of our raised platform which is my favorite part there's a recycling bin a watering can the lawnmower and some gas and then the kids bikes well leah and leo's bikes here is all of our holiday storage and of course our car and I know it looks like you can only fit one car in the garage, but you can actually fit two. So we have Grandma Annie's car, and let's go ahead and park in the garage. And it fits perfectly! So I really like that. And then of course you can still park in the driveway if you would like to do that instead. But now... We've covered everything downstairs, oh my goodness. So now we can go upstairs and you guys are gonna go crazy when you see the kids' rooms. I also made a change. There was a wall here, but I decided to open up the space a bit more and just add a railing or like fencing instead. I also think the carpet on the stairs was a really really nice touch so i guess we should just start right here follow the path so if we go in here this is grandma annie's room a real step up from her last room and the natural lighting is so good in here i think this room is really cozy so yeah this is just enough for grandma annie she has a little workspace some storage her bed some books a wardrobe as well as a closet. So all of the closets have a suitcase in them. That's pretty much it for Grandma Annie's room. I also really love this quote on the wall, but yeah, that's it for Grandma Annie's room. I don't want this to take forever, but I have the table once again. And can you guess whose room this is? This is Livy's room, the perfect toddler room. She has her bed with storage. There's the custom shelf again, but this time, in Livy's room, I decided to add a little dresser underneath just so everything wasn't the exact same. And on one side of Liv's bed, 
there's a table. And on this side, she has a play kitchen. And in front of her closet, there's a chair. Because she's still little and she loves when I read books to her. So that's Liv's room. I also really like the hearts. Of course, there's some books. So this one is Dream Big Little One. Another book about bears and baby calm. Really fitting for her. And this is her closet. So we still have the changing table. I'm not sure if we're ready to get rid of it quite yet. But in the back, you can see her suitcase. Hers is white because she's a classy, bougie baby. But um, yeah, that's everything in Liv's room. So now we can go ahead down the hall into Leah's room. Leah's room is so boho. Okay, so here it is. I love the wicker headboard. She also has another variation of the bookshelf. And right next to her bed, she has her nightstand with Mr. Bear, of course. She is getting a little older, so I am letting her experiment with makeup because she does wear it for her dance competitions. But she's not allowed to wear it out of the house. And here is her desk. I love that her room looks way more mature than than the last and I still wanted to kind of keep the rainbow theme just not so childish you guys know what I mean and then here's her closet so all the closets are pretty much the same you guys already know the vibes by now but yeah that is Leah's room I like the different wall colors and then it all kind of ties in with this rainbow right here so yeah I think Leah's room is perfect now, let's head over here. This was going to be the guest room, but as you can see, it's not a guest room. This is our in-home gym because the garage ended up being a little smaller than expected. If you're wondering what this is, this is a little ballet bar for Leah when she has to practice dance. So that's it for the workout room. Now we have two rooms left. Over here we have the upstairs restroom. This one is a bit bigger with the double sinks and a really big shower. I love this restroom. It's probably my favorite. And now we can head to the last room in the house and that is leo's bedroom so we kept his usual space theme but we toned it down a bit just because um his last room was a bit childish and i mean he's going into sixth grade now isn't that crazy i even built a little camera for him and something he's always wanted his very own gaming chair and this gaming chair is fully functional so let me go ahead and show you guys but don't tell leo <laughs> but um yeah we can go ahead and play something and it's really cool definitely one of my favorite parts of his room of course there's another soccer ball just lying around he has a clothing rack but he also has a closet too so here's what his closet looks like. And now that we covered Leo's room, those are all of the rooms in the house. Well, that's going to be it for this video. And I have been seeing all the comments. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll be giving out the layout for this house anytime soon. But let me know what you guys think of our new house. And do not forget to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! You, you've been hiding in the shadows way too long You, always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong